Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at 10 forgotten LEGO games. For this list, we're looking at the various LEGO games that have been lost to time, whether that's because of its age, its general launch, or because of how it's been overshadowed by the more successful LEGO games of today. Have you played any of these titles? Let us know down in the comments, and I will see you there. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. LEGO City Undercover One could argue that LEGO City Undercover has been anything but forgotten. After all, this once Wii U exclusive game did eventually come to PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch in 2017. However, it seems to have been forgotten by TT Games, Warner Brothers, and even LEGO themselves. LEGO City Undercover was a surprisingly fantastic game given that it was based on a more generic LEGO brand and offered a hilarious adventure with a focus on swapping costumes rather than characters in its core gameplay. The Wii U version alone sold just under 2 million copies, so why didn't TT Games and WB go for a sequel? or even another game based on a different general lineup of LEGO sets, like the classic space or castle sets of the 1960s. All we're saying is, there could have been money here, and it could have helped LEGO stem a bit from the licensed games. LEGO Land Legoland theme. If you're a hardcore LEGO fan, chances are you've already been to one of the LEGO lands across Europe, Asia, and North America. I know I have. But wouldn't it be cool to build your own iteration of the theme park? That's where this PC gem comes in. Legoland cashed in on the popularity of Roller Coaster Tycoon by tasking players with creating their own Legoland parks. Unfortunately, it is commercially unavailable at the time of this recording, which is a real shame considering the vacancy of theme park management games right now. Sure, we've seen the likes of Planet Coaster fill the void, but for us Lego fans, it'd be nice if the young and old could visit or revisit this gem of a PC game. Build a shark cafe. Drome Racers. The LEGO brand has seen several racing games, most notably during the fifth and sixth generations of gaming with LEGO Racers and its sequel. But what about the one that came shortly after? Drome Racers launched a year after LEGO Racers 2, yet floundered in its critical performance on account of its generic presentation and lack of personality. Even though the GBA version scored a little bit higher than its console counterparts, including the supposedly enhanced GameCube version, it was not enough to save its developer attention to detail. Was Drome Racers rightfully left behind? We may never know the sales numbers, but the lack of resonance within LEGO fans and the low review scores imply that previous LEGO racing games found bigger success for a reason. Doesn't help that the LEGO name was nowhere to be seen on the box art, making Drome Racers blend in with other games on store shelves. Island Extreme Stunts. The yeah. Broccolini's Pizzeria. Fantastic yeah. pizzas yeah. at low, low prices, including my favorite, yeah. the Hawaiian. Launching the same year as Drome Racers, Island Extreme Stunts faced similar troubles. It wasn't a horrible game by any stretch of the imagination, but its real problem was how it changed LEGO Island's identity. Though it was presented to us as a sequel to LEGO Island 2, it shifted focus from doing pizza deliveries, races, and minigames and the like, to being part of a movie set and performing stunts with vehicles. Again, Island Extreme Stunts was not a terrible game, yet we don't usually think about this one when we're discussing LEGO Island or LEGO games in general. <laughs> Football Mania, aka Soccer Mania. Woohoo! 
With the handful of occasions we've seen LEGO dip their toes into sports, they haven't given us a toy or game that was less than solid. Case in point, Football Mania, which was published by both LEGO and Electronic Arts for PlayStation 2, PC, and Game Boy Advance. Much like the ill-fated Drome Racers, Football Mania did not do well critically with outlets citing its generic soccer gameplay and lack of creativity with the LEGO brand. Indeed, it would have been awesome to have a stadium builder or incorporate building into the gameplay as a LEGO game should. Alas, this was for the kids who liked LEGO and wanted a decent soccer game to kill time. Perhaps 2K can put their own spin on a LEGO soccer game or even a LEGO basketball game in the near future. LEGO Universe LEGO has tried a handful of times to break into online gaming. The toy brand has seen some success in mobile markets, but before these efforts, we had LEGO Universe, an MMO where players designed their own minifigs and fought the Maelstrom in the name of their chosen faction. Alas, the LEGO name was not enough to amass a sustainable player base. LEGO Universe was only around from October 2010 to January 2012 before the plug was pulled by LEGO themselves, admitting that the game simply wasn't generating enough revenue. Of course, it's also worth mentioning that the MMO scene was already being dominated at this time by World of Warcraft, EVE Online, EverQuest, and RuneScape. So was there room for a LEGO MMO? Not really. <laughs> LEGO Rock Raiders This was perhaps the strangest genre for LEGO to dip their toes into, more so than an MMO or online platform fighter. LEGO Rock Raiders was a strategy game released for Windows PC and PlayStation. Build a squad of Rock Raiders to gather energy crystals and or rescue lost Rock Raiders while fending off the various threats lurking in the caves. Much like Football Mania, this title doesn't do much with the LEGO IP outside of name, but for a strategy game, it was a good welcome map for kids who had not yet tried games of this caliber. It'd be interesting to see LEGO return to the Rock Raiders theme today, or at the very least a new strategy game that might implement the toys in a more creative light. LEGO Knight's Kingdom In the realm of handheld games, one might think of the licensed games that came out on the DS or GBA that had console counterparts. But what about the ones that only made it to GBA, like LEGO Knight's Kingdom? Well, for those of you who were into the top-down action-adventure games like Zelda, this was a warm and familiar kind of game. Problem was that the Knight's Kingdom line was not as popular as other LEGO products like Bionicle that were aimed at older kids. And so, this title ended up gathering dust faster than the toy line it was based on. Rest in peace, LEGO Knight's Kingdom. You are sorely missed. LEGO Dimensions We shall be the Fellowship of the... <laughs> fellowship of the... Uh, that's a terrible name. After the success of Skylanders, it seemed as though the Toys to Life train had no breaks, as more and more companies came out with their own spin on the trend. LEGO and TT Games were players in this trend as well, with LEGO Dimensions, which mashed together dozens and dozens of IPs under one single roof. Players could build various characters, vehicles, and toys to aid them in their quest to bring down Lord Vortech. Despite the ambition and fun, LEGO Dimensions would suffer a similar fate as LEGO Universe. The revenue was not making up the costs of manufacturing the bricks, and parents were already getting their wallets bashed by the other overpriced Toys to Life games. And so, LEGO Dimensions died after a couple of years along with Skylanders and Disney Infinity. Come out and play! Lego Life of George. Hello, welcome to the Life of George. Playing is simple. Just download the app, then take George, the pieces, and the mat out of the box. 
Of any LEGO product to ever exist, none has been dropped harder as LEGO Life of George was. In case you don't remember this mobile title, lord knows I completely forgot about it. Use LEGO bricks to build simple structures in the shortest time possible. That's the whole thing for this game. Only two sets were ever released, both sets containing 144 LEGO bricks, each. Sadly, there wasn't much else to this besides building fast and challenging friends to build faster than you. LEGO Life of George would be discontinued in 2013, and the most success it found was a nomination for Toy of the Year from the Toy Association, and it won an award in the 2012 South by Southwest Interactive Awards. Whether you're challenging yourself for speed or competing with friends, George wants you to build, scan, score! Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.